On June 16, 1944, a 14-year-old boy named George Stinney was executed in the electric chair in Columbia, South Carolina. Three months earlier, two white girls disappeared and were later found dead. George Stinney, a black boy, had volunteered to help and joined the search party with his father. He mentioned to a bystander that he had seen the girls briefly the day they went missing. Though there was no evidence connecting George to the murders, he was immediately arrested and subjected to hours of interrogation alone. The sheriff later claimed that George confessed to killing the girls, but no written or signed statement existed. George's father was fired from his job and his family was forced to flee after receiving death threats. Nearly a month later, George Stinney faced a sham trial virtually alone. No black people were allowed inside the courthouse, and his court-appointed attorney did not call a single witness to aid George's case. The sheriff's testimony about George's alleged confession was the only evidence presented. An all-white jury deliberated for 10 minutes before convicting George Stinney of murder, and the judge sentenced the 14-year-old child to death. Despite appeals from black advocacy groups and evidence that George was innocent, Governor Olin Johnson refused to intervene. During the execution, state officials forced George to sit on a book. At just 90 pounds, he was too small for the straps of the electric chair. 14-year-old George Stinney remains the youngest person executed in the United States in the 20th century.